Hey, welcome back. So we're building the Lego Friends organic grocery store today. Lego City actually had their own version of this last year of, of an organic grocery store. So this is the Friends style of the same thing. So I built the other one. So check that out if you are interested in seeing the city style. But the Friends one's obviously going to be better because it's going to be filled with more details because that's part of the Friends thing is that it is detail filled. So there are 830 pieces in here. It's $140 Australian, which is a lot. I'm not going to lie. That is a lot. But go find it somewhere for less than RRP. I say that every, every time. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. What do we got inside? We got six bags. We've got a ooh, some gray plates to build it on and we have got our instruction books and our stickers in their own little holder, which is good. There's our stickers and there's our instruction book. Do we have anything extra like any cute little detail -y things like maps and stuff in? No, no, we don't. Okay. All right, so let's start building. Actually, no, before we start building, we're still building because we have to build a character. This set comes with five characters, four mini dolls and one micro doll. And I suppose, and the cat, the, the grumpy cat's also in this set too. So that would be six characters, right? So this first character is brand new, exclusive to the set. Her name is Jordan. And she is the very first Lego Friends character with vitiligo, which is a condition which causes lack of pigment in various parts of your skin. So it's so, so cool that Lego Friends is including all these diverse characters. It's not the only thing that defines Finds her though. I mean, her outfit is so cute. I love the apron, like a little shop out. <laughs> Shop, shop, I can't even speak. Shop, outfit, apron. Shop, apron, outfit. I don't know. But it's a shop apron. I love it. With a little name tag. Coral shoes. Well, coral boots because there's just like that little bit of funky extraness happening here. And uh, we've seen this hair piece before, but it's just really nice to see it again. So all in all, a really welcome new character. So who are we looking at next? Autumn is also in this set. We've seen, oh, oh, yeah, we've met Autumn before. She's one of the eight new core Lego Friends characters. She has a t-shirt with mushrooms on it so perfectly awesome like a little bit of a cottage core reference there I love it the mushy t-shirt <laughs> so good uh, her face and her hair piece are exactly the same as we've seen in the previous sets but that doesn't mean that they are old to me they are still I love her eyebrows I think I talk about them every single time if you haven't met Mia before sh no hold on autumn before she's Mia's daughter <laughs> <laughs> See, I gave that away. <laughs> oh, yeah, and if you haven't met her before, yes, she has a limb difference. She was born that way. All right, third character is Leo, another one of the core eight Lego Friends characters. He's wearing an outfit that apparently he wears. He wears this top in the donut shop, which I haven't built yet. I just love how he wears bright colors and they just mismatch like the patterns are just clashing and <laughs> love it i love his nice thick brows as well it just blows my mind how much expression you can achieve just with the eyebrows and yeah love his little hair piece he's just so goofy i just i just want to squish him but he's a little tiny plastic lego mini doll so I can't do that. Next up we've got Isaac who's the grocery store owner or manager or something like that. He's got this pants piece where the the shoes have just been like dipped. They kind of look they could be shoes they could be feet depending upon the skin color of the character. Now in this case they're supposed to be shoes but I'd like them to have a bit of binding on them so that we know that they're actually actually supposed to be shoes. He's got his work jacket on. He's got his little name tag. Love how they're bright vibrant colors with the vibrant coral and the, yeah, the, the yellow vest and his face print is fabulous. He's got white hair. He's obviously a, a more mature member of the Lego Friends Society. Got a few little lines on his face. I love it all. I love our four new characters here. Now the micro doll actually has a brand new print on her dress and it's a nice little pushback against stereotypes because trust me you cannot find easily dinosaur prints on girls clothes which is just wrong. This character's name is Alba. She's got the same skin tone as both Jordan and Leo. I suspect she might be related to Leo because she's included in the same bag as him. It's like they're going shopping together so might be his little sister, little cousin, niece, something like that. I don't know. We'll find out as we go along but this set also has grumpy chunk of cat my new favorite dude he doesn't have a butthole but I painted one on a previous one so I'll just have to paint one on this version too 
<laughs> check that out if you haven't already seen it. So, not a bad haul of characters of like mini dolls, micro doll, pets, love it, animals in this set. So that might be part of why the price point is so high. So let's get started with the actual building. So first up is a car, it's not a car, it's a truck to get those fresh organic fruit farm fruit Fish fruit, hold on, farm fruit, farm fruit, <laughs> fruit and veggies fresh from the farm. Oh, I think I got there in the end. So this is the delivery truck for that. Yeah, I think that made some sense. <laughs> We're going super fast on this because one, I've lost my, absolutely lost, lost my brain, but also because vehicles are kind of dull for me to actually build. I want to get on with building the shop with the actual grocery store. But this has its place. I mean, having a delivery truck is, is good. I mean, you've got to get deliveries to and from the actual grocery store somehow. So it's nice to have one. And I just love the funky green that it's in. It's nice and bright. Fresh market signs on either side. So you know yeah, which set this vehicle belongs to. There's spot on the inside here for two characters to actually sit. Plus a little jumper stud, which means you can make the micro doll drive if you want <gasps> actually yeah 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 mm, no we won't do that that's illegal but it'd be fun <laughs> illegal but so fun yeah we're totally gonna do that at some stage okay so these are this is the front part of the truck yeah with all of the little light bits i'm actually gonna make this a right hand drive because that's up to me as the creator here it's not gonna make any difference whether i put the steering wheel on the right hand side or the left hand side but now it is good for driving here in australia we won't get too confused everybody else who drives a left hand drive car they're gonna get confused it's fine you just do everything opposite sees absolutely perfectly easy no worries so in the back in the tray there's actually room for two crates yeah okay so this mm, <laughs> this is a brand new windshield piece apparently I'm not I don't build a whole world of vehicles but look at that that see-through bit brand new brand new apparently according to Bricklink so that's kind of cool so interest an interesting shape for a vehicle looks kind of more like it'll be better for spaceships but it's okay it actually looks very modern kind of bubbly and in the back we've got a couple of pumpkins here in this crate and yeah there's a space for another crate in the back too you can swap it around to either side there are little jumpery points there just single stud on either side to hold it down right we're up to bag number two so now we can get started with the grocery store but we do have a very very nice delivery truck now this is the bag that isaac came in and isaac uh, comes with his accessory his trolley accessory which isn't yet another color this trolley is now in three different colors in orange bright orange which is this one or light bright orange or something like this, this is a lighter orange than the other one and a green so we got trolleys in all different colors <laughs> which is fun kind of fun yeah and this is a set also that autumn comes in it's definitely fun she has got the pay pass you know like credit debit card iphone -y kind of thing so she's there ready to pay for her purchases or to receive payment for purchases I, think, I mean, it can be used either way. All right, so these are the two mini dolls that actually came in bag number two. I just nicked them out early so we could look at them at the beginning of the video. But now we get started on the grocery store. So let's see. Let's see what's included in this. It should be full of details. There's a decent, it's like it got a decent footprint, like a decent size. So, yeah, but if I'm not happy, <laughs> I'm going to put together this and the Lego City Grocery Store, like make a mashup of them. And even of the old Lego Friends one too, maybe put in the best of all of those parts and see if we can make a really, really nice detailed grocery store. But let's do this one first. My gosh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm already thinking about modding things before we've even started. So I love the tiling here. It's tiled in mint and blue. Those, oh, they go so nicely together. Tiles, a few little jumper studs here and there to attach stuff onto and also just to stick your characters down so that they don't go flying when you pick it up. It's nice to have that. You don't want everything smooth. You want some places where you can actually stick them down. Or you can just stick them down with blue tack, which is what I do too. <laughs> There's always more than one way to do things. Okay, so we've got mm, this kind of this interesting bit happening in the side here, like a place you're going to put things in. Hmm, okay, and this is another section, another part of the footprint maybe, so of the floor. So this is going to be an extension on what we've already built. It's got that same coloured tiling going on over here, so that goes on the side. Nice! This is looking really good so far. I mean, all we got is tiling. <laughs> I'm already excited. <laughs> I'm easily pleased. Love the, uh, the, the medium nougat bricks going on everywhere. They're a lovely colour. Yeah, they're a nice colour. I really like it. This has got all these little sticky out Technic pins on it. And we oh, tilted on its side, put these tubes on to make the turny bit, 
tiny bit the conveyor belt so those tubes are going to be the conveyor belt this is actually currently on its side so this we put these on and then smooth this over that's going to be the front or the back I don't know it's going to be one side of it and then when we put it in like this that's a nice big checkout section isn't it that's taking up a lot of space but I like it oh and there's some impulse purchases here of the new gobble bubble uh, gumble bubble printed tile some bubble gum because like, everybody likes to get a bit of bubble gum from the checkout I do love how there's the new those pr new printed tile though it's really cute this is the checkout monitory thing so that's gonna be facing the checkout chick or the checkout dude the checkout Chad we're going with that <laughs> okay right and the other side's obviously for the customer we're up to bag number three missed this bit out from the previous bag don't worry we got it in there in the end or even before the end so this nice big sticker goes on our white panel gives us a whole heap of just detail just in one nice sticker I think there's an ATM there there's the adopter dog that uh, Autumn's trying to adopt out got a hiring sticker and a little donate grocery spot there too little poster and now these nice big medium nougat windows just getting tiled here on either side well not tile lining either side what's going to be the the front entryway door I just love I, I don't know whether I'm ever gonna grow up but I just love how doors just you know automatic opening shutty doors it's kind of it still feels kind of magical to me and I don't know why because I know how they work with science but I just love automatically opening doors <laughs> oh, what is my life even but these these look like they're going to be they are they're going to be designed to actually be automatic doors well I mean they're not going to be automatic because we're going to have to do all the actual opening and shutting but they're both going to open it oh, at the same time oh, I'm so excited to find out how that's going to work but meanwhile we got these other bits here to put on a little bit of control panel thing over on the side there's a hook there on the side too just behind the checkout and I don't know what's happening over here on this spot here there was an ATM sticker on the no the ATM is on the other side so I don't know um so we've got an actual little kind of alcove bit off to the side it could be like the workers storeroom or break room find out as we keep on going that's the fun part it all just kind of reveals itself doesn't kind of reveal itself it definitely reveals itself as we go as we go on this is got so we got all these forward facing studs we're actually hiding all the bricks behind here got nice we've made a nice green green panel and there's a hole in there it's a recycling spot for all your Oh, for your glass and your glass and your tin recycles and the doors to get in there. So we have a nice white sack of recyclables that have just been stuffed there on the side. One random tin just so we can check to make sure that it works. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. All right. So this goes back over here. Now the, uh, the Lego City version had its own version of this, but this one's better. <laughs> There's no question. This one's just better. I really like this. <laughs> the one where yeah, it was like the, like an ATM the other one in the Lego City build I like the fact that this one's its own little room oh it's so cute okay so we've got a crate here with some yep yeah, with some recyclables we've got a wine bottle some aluminium cans and they just supposed to just be stuck here on the bottom and there's room for some more but it actually fits perfectly into that little slot down there so once that's full you can yeah you can take it out and it'll also go on the back of the truck too because so you can use the truck for recycling take it down to the recycling depot oh I love this I love it all love it all okay above the front entry door on the inside we actually have a really cute amount of decorations there's a little orange here on one side I think it's I think they're actually designed to to, yeah to disguise the fact that we have all these bricks with holes in them for the technic elements so that we can actually have the moving part for the doors but I love the oranges they're so cute <laughs> such a nice little element oh and the sticker goes in between them with oh, I wonder if the oranges are actually designed to go with all those cans so like the orange aid or something like that orange flavored fizzy drink I don't know or maybe it's I don't know I'm overthinking this <laughs> that's how I roll so this goes on the top oh look at this I can do this all day so the doors open and shut in opposite directions I can't even figure out what we did on the inside there to make there's a gear in there and there's a little how do they go opposites it is magic it's magic all right so actually decking out the inside stocking this grocery store we've got a couple of these new cabinet pieces these fridge cabinet pieces they could do with having some handles on them because you're gonna need fingernails to get 
in and open those out but that's all right I think it looks better without the handles and inside but it's harder to access them on the inside we have got a couple of cartons of eggs thanks to these stickers we know exactly what these are supposed to be we've seen eggs depicted in several different ways in Lego but I like this one <laughs> these ones are broken <laughs> check those ones before you buy them I dropped them on the floor sorry and the juice bottles couple of juice bottles for one side they're gonna fit so perfectly in there and then a couple of milk bottles they don't have the angled tops on them that we often see we've got the flat tops because yeah they wouldn't fit in there I don't think with the angled tops the little cheese slice bits so nice and tidy oh can't turn that around that's what my little tweezers are for perfect and on the bottom are just some random things that don't have that don't have stickers or prints on them so we got some jars of pink nope some yeah some boxes of pink and some jars of purple and <laughs> just dropped over the fridge unit I'm glad everything stayed nice and securely in there because when they all yeah they're all gonna fall out when those doors open so this goes here so that's nicely sealing off the recycled unit and that pops off really well too and got the new broom end piece which is nice which we've seen in the Harry Potter sets but not in the Friends set so far so that goes here on the wall for cleaning up spills which is gonna happen a lot if I'm in charge of the fridge speaking of spills <laughs> I think that was a little bit a little bit prophetic because we have got the I don't even know what we call these like a hazard triangle V thing I'm just making sure that's a little bit straighter so the little warning hazard <laughs> thing here because there's a spot there to put a spill so we've got the light pink splotch here on the ground so yeah obviously it's not just me that spill the stuff out of the fridge and a vibrant coral oh yeah nice trash can you're not going to miss seeing that to put the stuff in after you've cleaned it all up very nice nice details it's all about the details I love the details two different color greens out here on the front and two different color pinks for the foliage I like that too it just mixes it up really nicely gives it a whole heap of texture and we're up to bag number four now bag number four is the bag that Leo and Alba and Grumpy Cat came in Grumpy Cat's name's Chiro by the way if you <laughs> haven't met him in one of the previous fills and another trolley in the same color and we can actually pop yeah Grumpy Cat and Grumpy Chunky Cat and Alba in there put Leo in charge I just love that that's so cool and then we can give them a nice uh yeah because that's the accessory they've got so they've got a mobile phone <laughs> there's no room for groceries in here anymore once we put the kid and the cat in the trolley isn't that just always the way <laughs> okay next part whoa okay we are extending the footprint making this whole thing bigger and is this gonna go off the side or off the back of what we've already built so we're tiling it in the same colors as obviously the inside because it all needs to match up and there's a yellow ramp on it which is really great I mean obviously you need the ramps to get the trolleys in and out and up and down but it also makes this whole thing wheelchair friendly too so that's just an added bonus in this respect so on the side so there's a little yes okay it's a trolley return on the side you can't stack the trolleys you know squish them into each other unfortunately but well no you can't you could stack them on top of each other that would be quite funny not very useful but quite funny so we've got our sign on the back here for the trolley return and I've just broken it so we'll just fix that up very nice bit annoying that you can't squish the trolleys into each other now small things <laughs> okay so on the inside it's not all tiled because we're gonna be putting other things down there I think so we've got little bits of wall supports going up up got some clips on the side got a random little green flower inside which is curious interested to know why we have that okay so we have got a tool crate in the corner and then next to that we've got a display section for oh some baked goods so we got sprinkler cookies here and then on another little display section are some donuts nice I love that <laughs> and then we've got some big crates on yeah we where we, we hadn't put the tiles so they're gonna be stocked with lots and lots of goodies so let's find out how all that works so these are the supports that are going to go in the middle of each of the crates so that sections them up so that each crate can hold two different types of produce and then we go a smooth bit over the top and let's see where this fits onto our building so it goes around here on this side oh look at that so snug and then it gets sealed in uh, yeah it gets held in place with a couple of bricks up the top here and then the tiles down the bottom another one with a little jumper stud there so you can stand a mini doll over there and oh there's not, <laughs> not a lot of room there to get the actual trolley in front of the 
checkout section. So that's interesting. So we, yep, you can get the trolley in here, knock over the shop girl. Perfect. We're up to bag number five. Okay, let's find out. I think this is where we find out what we're actually going to be stocking in this shop. So we've got a couple of little baskets clipped onto the wall, nice and accessible there, and then a buildable French bread stick for that crate in the corner, which is interesting because Lego, like Lego, Lego actually has a, a French bread stick mold. So hmm. I'm curious that they didn't choose to use this. Now we are getting some nice produce. So we've got some capsicums, I think, and some carrots, two of each, something purple. So I reckon this might be quite a cylindrical eggplant and this I reckon might be <gasps> hold on that green thing doesn't the green flowery bit on the end doesn't match I reckon I've mucked up the greens they're so close in shade that it's kind it's so hard to tell in the instructions which green goes on which sometimes and I'm really struggling with this more lately than I ever have before so I'm pretty sure that these darker ones go on the capsicums and then the the, yeah, these middle green ones go on what I think are courgettes or zucchinis. We call them zucchinis here in Australia. So we've got a couple of capsies in the corner and then we can put the eggplants in here. Actually, I'm wondering whether I'm supposed to actually be seating them down on the studs below, but then you can't really see them. You can kind of see what's in there. They're kind of hidden away in the crates and I don't like that. I want a bit more display element. Carrots are beautifully displayed and our zucchinis look good over there. So that's the veggie side. And so now we've got some fruits. So we've got some grapes couple of bunches of grapes, a couple of bananas, bananas, and just a couple of apples. Oh, and some oranges. And the oranges got little green bits on the top. So nice. Perfect. Okay, so these go. Grapes in the corner and apples next to them. Bananas over here. And then you've got your oranges just in there. Well, doesn't that look beautifully stocked? All with your organic fruit and veg from the local farmer's farms. <laughs> farmers farms. Genius. I'm just the last of the big thinkers. All right. So decorating the outside, beautiful little ball of flowers here, just in this tiny little curved alcove. Very pretty. And then we need to figure out what's happening up here on the wall. It's quite a bit of intricate building. I mean, it's not terribly intricate, but intricate enough that, like, yeah, good amount of pieces being used just to pop the walls into place and then big curved window pieces for the display. And the vibrant coral actually goes really well with the light nougat bricks underneath it. I never really realized that they were kind of on the same part of the color wheel. They're, yeah, they're a lighter shade of the vibrant coral. Okay, so now we have got a tiny tall tree with a whole heap of those little candlestick pieces in brown. And I'm not sure I've used the right shades of green for those pieces. I'm just using what I have left now. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm really struggling with greens. Maybe my eyeballs are going. Okay, so we've got a couple of really nice. This is a really nice tree design. And this bit goes on the top. And if you just kind of angle your 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 little branchy bits once you've got it all in situ, then it doesn't look too formulaic. Look at that, that's really cute. And the bottom ones are darker. Those green ones are darker, so it looks like they're more in the shade. I think that's how it's supposed to go with the green anyway. <laughs> Not sure. So, all right, we're up to bag number six and we're going on the top. We're working on the top now because the inside's completely kitted out. Yeah, so we've just got to get the finishing touches on, which are not the easiest part of this build. So we've got a whole heap of outward facing studs going on to make a nice, smooth, vibrant coral line around the edge. And it lines up with those curved bits too on the side. Mucked this bit up here beautifully. I just forgot to put on those light nougat bricks. Let's go. Missed that step. Went back and fixed it. Beautiful thing about Lego. It is always fixable unless the bricks break but that doesn't and then Lego will send you a replacement so that's fine so lots and lots of forward facing bricks here uh, so we're gonna be putting a whole heap of decorative elements I think on the top of the shop the shop top my goodness so this guy's I've never seen so many light nougats as I have in this the light nougat color it's just really happening here in the flower in the flower bunch the rose was done in this color. It looked kind of weird, but I'm liking it here matched up with the vibrant coral. They go really beautifully together. So we've smoothed over either smoothed over. <laughs> wow. I think my tongue's decided it's about to give up. I can't enunciate anymore. We've got our fresh market sign. It's upside down currently. So we're actually making a huge buildable sign to go over those fantastic automatic sliding doors. Let's see how this all goes together. This is, I mean, I saw in the picture, it's a big basket of fruit and veg. So I love buildable signs. I just think they're a fabulous feature of Lego and they really 
Oh, they add so much character to the whole build. Otherwise it'd just be a, I mean, buildings are just big blocks. So this gives them character and style. I don't know, pizzazz. It makes them look fancy from a distance. So we've got a nice banana, we've got a carrot, we've got an apple, and they are currently just kind of hanging there in the air, but they're going to be inside this basket, which we can tell it's a basket now because we're putting the stickers on, so the sticker stripes. Stick a stripe, stripety basket with a handle and everything. How good is this sign? It's the answer is really, really good. So, I mean, that was a rhetorical question on it, obviously. And then smoothing those little edges around. And then we've got this gorgeous organic looking, ta da, organic looking sign at the top of our fruit market, our organic grocery store. And the lights are also solar powered. Fantastic. I mean, what happens if the sun hasn't been out to <laughs> that day? Does that mean then that there's no lights when it's, I suppose then the shop's probably not open at night. Okay, I'm overthinking this. So we are done. It is a fabulous looking set. It's got, it's got so many features in it. I mean, it just everywhere you turn, there's a feature, a playable element, something really cute and interesting to mess about with. So I don't know, well, is this worth the price tag? I mean, because the cost is reasonably high for this set. Every time I question the cost of Lego, though, I think of the cost of other toys, I suppose, that are of a much lesser standard and they don't have as much longevity so i can i can forgive the cost of lego i really can because one it's got resale value as well plus it just lasts it lasts and so much effort and thought goes into the fact that it needs to last as well okay all right so there we go organic grocery store lego friends style it's your turn now let me know what you think of the set in the comments and do all the other things you know subscribing liking all of the things that keep you engaged with the channel to make sure that it keeps turning up in your feed if you want to see more videos like this and I hope you do now check back in because I will be doing more stuff soon I am always doing more stuff soon so yeah <laughs> I'll see you then <laughs> bye